Hello everyone, welcome to our learning series of how to use Unreal Engine for architectural visualization. Another interesting request we have received is how to drag and drop 3D objects into our scene in real time. So following up from our previous example, we have learned how to switch between three different types of outdoor sofa using a 3D widget into our scene. So we will answer this request by showing how we can do the same thing using the drag and drop operation. So if we hit play, we'll see that we have created a simple interface with 3D widget and uh, that shows the 3D sofas and a side table. And by dragging our mouse from the widget, we can choose where we want, to, for example, to set this sofa and also the table. And if we want to, for example, set a different type of a sofa here, and if we want, for example, to remove one of them, we just can double click and remove uh, our sofa. So this is really useful. And, and for example, if you want to build, um, let's say, for example, a real time interactive uh, furniture uh, um, uh, options for your customers. Or, for example, if you want to build uh, a very empty scene without any furniture and you want to send this to your client, so he can start uh, selecting his furniture and then, for example, take a snapshot and send it to you. So let's see how we did this. Okay, so first let's start, for example, by creating uh, a player controller and a game mode. So we did this before by simply going to the blueprint class and type here player controller. And once you uh, create your uh, player controller and name it, for example, drag and drop, right click on it and edit and make sure to choose uh, show mouse cursor event and enable touch events and also uh, enable mouse over events and we have also created a game mode name it as our drag and drop and we choose our player controller uh, to be as drag and drop also so once we set up this let's start by creating uh, the widgets and we have created the main user interface widget which have a, currently just a simple image with a gray color and an opacity and this is where we're gonna uh, align our uh, widgets which we gonna drag from them our uh, outdoor sofas so then we're gonna create another widget which will represent the first sofa that will be uh, aligned into our uh, main user interface widget and this is where we set our scale of the image for example, at a custom scale uh, with 100 by 75. And then we're gonna go to our uh, main drag and drop menu. Then we're gonna call our uh, sofa widget and drag it into our canvas panel. And then we're gonna hit size to content as this is the same size that we have set up in our sofa widget, 100 by 75. And let's drag it on top of our image like that and let's hit compile inside the sofa uh, widget we're gonna create the drag and drop operation we're gonna start by going to the functions override on mouse button down then we're gonna create or detect drag F pressed connect the mouse event to the pointer event and let's choose left mouse Button. So once the ma left mouse button down, we're gonna uh, go to the next function, which is drag detected. Detected. So we're gonna create from here a widget. Sorry. And this is the widget that we have uh, already set up, which is the sofa one. And then get player controller and from the widget we're gonna create drag and drop operation where we're gonna drag also the return value to our payload and also for the default drag visual and this is gonna represent our uh, uh, image once we drag uh, from the mouse. So let's hit compile and let's see how this is gonna go. So if we hit play and we're gonna drag, we can see now that the widget is following our mouse cursor, but if we release, nothing is still happening because we uh, didn't create the, the main function. 
so the next function will be and, and that's gonna be on drag cancelled and this is basically an event that means that uh, it's something that's gonna affect our uh, in our real-time uh, operation and we're gonna start by creating a node called get mouse position in on viewport because our aim is to convert the mouse position uh, to a location into a 3d on uh, into our 3d world and this is gonna be done also by dragging another node called line trace by channel and we're gonna fix two locations the start which is the mouse location and the end which is the location into our 3d world so dragging from our return value we're gonna multiply a vector 2d by a float we want to determine uh, the location uh, the start location and the end location so we're gonna create from this the project screen to world and this is where we're gonna uh, enable uh, the position uh, from the mouse uh, to the 3d wall so let's get the player controller also here and let's get our viewport scale so we can get the value that we're gonna get from this multiplication that's gonna give us our uh, start location and then we're gonna get the location that will be determined by the player himself so we're gonna add a vector and connect this to our end location but to define which uh, what is exactly our end location we're gonna also uh, multiply the a vector by a float and this value will determine how far can the player determine uh, the location where the mouse can drop the 3d objects so let's put this for example by 2000 and drag this to our field, uh, vector and this is where we have our start and end location next we're gonna break the head from this line trace break head result and this is gonna give us a location that we're gonna connect this to a spawn node so we're gonna create spawn actor from class and this is where we're gonna choose our blueprints that we have created for uh, for example for our sofa so we're gonna call our sofa sofa to drag and this is gonna be this one if we hit we're gonna make, just make sure that this is the one that we're gonna spawn and then we're gonna continue by defining the location from uh, the head result to the spawn so it will give another node in between uh, to make sure that we have the right calculation so if we hit compile let's try now and see if this is gonna work and then if we hit this you can see that once the drag uh, the location finish uh, we reach to the end of the line it will spawn the 3d uh, object which is the sofa in our case okay so let's uh, create the other uh, widgets and this can done quickly by duplicating the sofa one let's name for this for example by sofa 2 and then just go to the image change this to sofa 2 which we have imported earlier so sofa 2 and then go to the graph and simply just we're gonna change the sofa to drag sofa to 2 to drag if we go down this is our second sofa and then compile Let's just make sure that an, uh, on drag detected we gonna create sofa 2 widget which we just duplicated and then we're gonna go to the main user interface and add the second one and then just size the content we just need to uh, set up the size of that image be also 100 by 75 compile and then just remove it sofa 2 
and then size to content again drag this here do the same thing for the third sofa quickly so I'm gonna change the image sofa P and also resize it sorry about that 75 and inside the graph we're gonna change sofa 3 to drag and on drag detected we're gonna also change sofa 3 compile and also drag sofa 3 size the content So the same thing goes with this one. And let's hit compile to see if we hit play. We can now drag our sofas inside our uh, scene. Now the thing that is still uh, haven't been done is how to can we destroy our actor. We say destroy because it's actually a, a node uh, called destroy actor which is deleting the actor into our 3D world. So how can we do that? First, we're gonna uh, double click our sofa to drag, which is the first one. And on clicked, we're gonna create uh, a few nodes to enable the destroy. And we're gonna drag, call uh, destroy actor. this one and we're gonna get player controller because we want to also get uh, our player controller uh, head result so we're gonna get head result under my cursor by channel and then break this head result and then gonna kill our head actor connected to the destroy actor and then compile so we're gonna try this with the first one which is this sofa double click and has so remember again as we have said and to our uh, in, in the beginning of this video you have to create a player controller and a game mode uh, to enable the double click uh, to remove the actor so this is the basic idea of how to create a drag and drop operation and uh, this is very useful in terms of if you want to play this uh, into a screen, uh, a PC screen mood or online uh, presentation through a web or uh, iPad or Android application, mobile applications. But we want to do this also uh, through a 3D widget because we want to um, show how we can achieve this uh, drag and drop operation into a VR uh, mode. So uh, we're going to continue this in our next video and see how we can also achieve uh, the movements and uh, adjust the location and the rotation of the actors in real time. So thank you very much for watching and if you have any question please share it down in the comments and see you in the next video. Thanks!